The easiest way to install Contenta is using the quick install and this is meant for local development only and also if you want to evaluate Contenta and see if that if this project meets your project's requirements and you want to tinker with it locally. So uh, what you'll need is a composer and for some part of it that is non-essential, you will need to have Drush installed locally. So uh, in order to install it, it's very easy. Just copy and paste this snippet of code into your terminal. And what this is going to do is it's going to download the this script and then execute it. So let's see what's in the script. Uh, as you can see, first it uh, uses Composer to, to download Contenta, and then it installs using a SQLite, uh, which is uh, for, it's not very performant, but it's very easy to uh, manage and discard after afterwards. So uh, that's why we use it for evaluation and local development only. Um, you can see that uh, the only difference from this installation procedure and the regular installation procedure is that here we say that we install with SQLite instead of MySQL. Um, and after all, after that, uh, this is when we need Drush to have installed it uh, in our local development uh, because we are going to, to do that. And uh, yeah, that's uh, mainly it. So let's Go ahead and install TMP up oh, content uh, CMS. Um, this is the destination directory where we want to install Contenta. So now Composer is going to start downloading files, calculating all the dependencies that it needs to uh, download and, and set in our local. And then after that, Drush is going to kick in and install the local server. I'm going to pause the recording here for brevity. I'm not going to do anything else. So once the script finish, uh, finishes, it's going to be it's going to be it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pass now. All right, so Composer is downloading the, all the different uh, projects that we will uh, need and soon uh, it's going to be done. So, yep, now it's done. And now Drush is installing the site using this command here. So you can see we generate a password with the quick install uh, and we give it to you uh, in, in here. Uh, it, this is, it's okay that you can see the password because this is just only meant for your local. Um, and once uh, this is done, uh, it's going to give you a link to log in. And it, after that, it's going to start the server. So I'm going to click this link and it should just work. Uh, yeah, it takes me to the uh, edit page. So now I can click home and that's it. Now you can, you're free to start uh, tinkering with content and evaluating it if it suits your project needs.